fingerprint scan. State of the art. That phone fucking sucks, dude. That shit doesn't work for like more than a week. It just stops scanning open and I'm like, what the fuck's the point of this? Now I gotta put the password in, but I waited for two seconds. Like it now takes more time to unlock my phone. What the fuck's up with that? Right? I got stoned and I was like getting productive. I'm like, you know what? I just, I'll just scan all my fingers. That way, if I grab my fucking phone in any direction, it's gonna magically unlock. I'm like, Pff, take that, Apple. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> felt like I beat the system. I'm like, yeah. Oh my god. Then, I, then it dawned on me. I'm like, I just scanned all of my fingerprints and parts of my palms and fucking sent them to an iCloud. How freaky is that, right? How 1984 George Orwell shit is that? I'm like, oh my god, I want to get that shit back. You know what I mean? It's like the movie fucking Road Trip. Except for I didn't send a safe sex tape to my fucking girlfriend. I sent my fucking DNA and shit. Right? Fucking, my, I was off the grid is what I'm saying, guys. <laughs> there was no record of my fingerprints anywhere out there in the system and shit. Like any CSI databases. I did that on my own. How fucked up is that? How stupid am I? <laughs> and I got a fucking conspiracy with like Apple though. I feel like Siri has a questionably close sounding voice to the fucking female chip from iRobot. You know what I mean? That fucking took over and killed that guy. I don't think Steve Jobs really died from cancer. I think he fought, I think Siri killed Steve Jobs, okay? I'll get down to the bottom of this, guys. Don't worry, I'll figure it out for you. So like, let's start the revolution together. <laughs> Look, man, I got a lot of Dumb thoughts when I smoke. Well, I like to smoke weed before I go to bed. That's what the prescription's for. You know? You sit on me and lost his appetite. I'm like, yeah, I'm a skinny guy that looks tired. That's gonna work. <laughs> it's passed every time I'm up for renewal. But, like, I can't go to bed without smoking weed. And I always have really bad choices of movies to watch before bed. It's Oscar season. I decided to watch Dallas Buyers Club whilst getting high. It took a big rip off the bong, then started profusely coughing. I'm like, <laughs> Which the movie starts off and he starts coughing. I'm like, ah, oh, and then I'm getting high as this is happening. I'm like, oh my god, I have AIDS. Because <laughs> that's the next rational thought. I'm like, ah, oh, I have what he has. It makes sense. It's like, it's like a fucking, I'm going along making all the parallel connections. Like, he's coughing, I'm coughing, he's skinny, I'm skinny. I get lightheaded sometimes. I'm like, I need some AZT. I need to get like an LA Buyers Club going down. And I'm going through my phone and who I know that's a shady drug dealer. You know what I mean? <laughs> Start running the gamut and shit. I don't have it, guys. I don't have it. After I like sobered up like 90 minutes later, I was like, Pff, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. That was really irrational. Got a kombucha the next day from Whole Foods, we're all good to go, right? That shit cures everything. I buy that stuff religiously. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. Girls drink that kind of shit. <laughs> it's like it's supposed to be like a detox thing, like a cleanser, right? It says on the back of the bottle, like, cure the dude's cancer, like mom's cancer in like six months. I'm like, mom, well, that works. I'm like, I'll drink it. Fuck it. I smoked cigarettes for 18 years. The back of those things says this causes cancer. I'm like, yeah, it's fucking, that's nonsense. They don't know shit. The back of the kombucha says a cure. I'm like, yeah, this has got to be fucking true. It says it right there. Like, how fucking irrationally optimistic is that? <laughs> the most fucking optimistic pessimist ever. Yeah. Um, what else? What are you guys doing? What's your, I had a fucking terrible day today, guys. I'm going to start. Let's just let's rewind, okay? I had to meet my girlfriend down on the west side for lunch, right? who then, when I got there late, proceeded to tell me how late I was, yet I fought traffic the whole way there, okay? I'm losing my shit. I have really bad road rage, okay? They're setting up for the LA Marathon today, which is Sunday. I'm like, that's convenient on a work week during fucking traffic. While people are just, like, going to fucking work. I'm like, these are fucking assholes. Like, just do it tomorrow when everyone's sleeping. You know? Shit's not until Sunday. I'm yelling this through, across town. I'm like, why aren't you setting up for this tomorrow? I'm like a fucking lunatic in an old blue car, because that's what I drive, which kind of sticks out. I park my car, meet my chick, have a shitty lunch that I don't like because it's sushi and that's not what I'm down with, but she wanted to eat it because that's what I do and I pay for it. You know, I'm like having, I'm at that moment, right? <laughs> <laughs> then she proceeds to kind of just jab it and say like, yeah, you know, like we only have like 15 minutes together now because we got here late. I'm like, then, I, then, she, then she says, then I have to head back to West Hollywood, which is where I live. I'm like, what? you're going to leave to go where I just came from in 15 minutes? Why don't you just fucking go there now? I'm like, what the fuck's the... I, like, but I, you can't say that. You can't say that. I'm just like, oh, okay. And, like, I'm kind of twitching and I'm losing it. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, fucking, like, doing the math. But my car gets eight miles to the gallon. I'm like, I just fucking spent, like, 16 bucks to get here. Almost fucking killed everybody. Broke a bunch of traffic laws. And you're going right where I fucking came from. <laughs> oh, I'm like, yeah, that's good. And she, and like, you know, I'm kind of like, I'm like, yeah, what do you know? Like, why don't we just go get something there? It's like, well, it's like, you, well, you don't want to waste your time. I'm like, you kind of wasted my time a little bit. But I, was, I didn't say it hurt. I was like, fuck. I'm leaving, she drops me back out of my car because apparently there's two sushi stops on the same fucking street. There's three of them apparently. She sent me the address to the one that I was not supposed to go to. I'm like, but 
And I call her, like, where are you at? She's like, I'm at the restaurant. I'm like, well, I'm at the restaurant. She's like, oh, that's a different one. I'm like, how many of these fucking places out? I'm, well, I had to run there halfway. It was like a marathon and shit. It's like a triathlon. I parked, ran, came back. My car mysteriously moved from the fucking spot that I parked it at at a meter to, like, it went perpendicular in the street. No one touched it. Nothing's missing. The fucking street. I don't know how it happened. I swear to fucking God. And I saw, like, an L.A. parking guy at my car. And I thought he was towing my shit. And I'm, like, already raged up. Or I told you this. And I walk in my car, I'm like, dude, what are you doing in my car? He's like, this is your car. I'm like, yeah, it's my fucking car. What, why is my car with this? You, you didn't park with this? I'm like, no, that fucking park. Who parks like this? It's, I'm like half in the street, half on the fucking sidewalk. I'm like, no one fucking parks like that, dude. Like, it seems like a really weird way to park. I'm like, you towing me? He's like, no. I'm like, it's like, I can't really technically do anything. Apparently you can do that. So side note, if you want to fuck with the fucking parking enforcement, park your car like a weird asshole perpendicular, half in the street, half on the fucking sidewalk, and get away with it. But what blew my mind is nothing. I'm like, I don't know if someone's following me with a set of my keys. Like, my locksmith is now, like, following me around just to fuck with my life or something. But it would magically move. Nothing was hard, no dings, dents, or scratches. It just blew my mind. That's a true story. 